So today we're going to build my first ever custom keyboard and we'll show you the parts, build it and of course we're going to do some sound tests in the end of the video. We'll tell you everything you need to know coming up so first let us unbox the bare bones keyboard kit so this is called the tom 980 and it is one of the cheapest bare bones keyboard kit in the market today it has 98 keys in total with a numpad on this side and the reason that's why i bought this is because i really love the layout and after using the rk84 for a few months now i figured that i really needed a numpad especially when I'm designing my 3D models. Anyway, there's a version that has three different connectivity, Bluetooth, dongle, and wired. But obviously, I bought the wired version since we are in a budget. So if you want the three mode connectivity, you can just check out the links in the description below. So inside the box, we have the rubber feet, the stabilizers that are pre-lubed, USB-A to USB Type-C cable. It is a bit flexible and it is around 5 feet I guess. Keycap and key switch puller and of course the barebone keyboard kit. It has a black PCB for hot swappable key switches. It also has a white metal plate to make the RGB color pop out a bit and in between the PCB and the metal plate is a sound dumping material. Take note that there are no key switches included in the package so we bought the key switches separately. And this is what we got, it is called the JWIC Red Linear Switches. I got the version where it's uh, already pre-lubed because I don't know how to loop the switches yet. Maybe in the future but not today. Cost around $26 for 100 pieces so I think it's a good deal. But do you think this will give the talk sound? Well we just have to find out when we finish building it. Moving on, in the package there are no keycaps as well so you guess it, we bought this keycap set separately also. So this is called the 120 PBT keycaps sublimation XDA height, whatever that means. To be honest, I just bought this set because I love the color combination and it is perfect for my setup. I get us all and while we are building it, I'll share my experience with you. First thing I did was to tear it down so I could have an idea how things are put together. Then I did some research on how to install these stabilizers. But no matter how much I research on things, I just can't find any detailed tutorials on how to install these stabilizers. Took me some time figuring things out and at the end I was able to place it all together and this is how I put it. So after that, I screw it back like so and at this point, I am ready to install the switches. The PCB has 5 pin connectors but for some reason, some of these JWIC switches are not fitting in all the way in the PCB. Some do fit but some don't. Maybe uh, the pins are too large. I'm not really sure. I tried to push it down but end up bending some pins so I decided to cut off uh, these little plastic pins over here to fit it in. It did work and I was able to place the key switches accordingly. Take note that I did not modify all the keys but only some of the keys that are not fitting in in the PCB. Now before I install the keycaps, I place back the frame and place all the keys that I needed. I guess that's it. Now let's do some sound checks.
believe it or not this Tom 980 keyboard has a driver and you need to dig a little deep in the internet for you to find it since there are no specific website or whatsoever but I was able to find it in reddit and you can just check out the download link in the description just in case you wanted that driver anyway the driver looks very basic and I don't think there is or will ever be any updates on this driver it has a lighting settings over here an RGB and there are some options that you could choose from it also has a button settings to change its function in whatever you want macros are also available in case you want to play with that option and lastly there are other option settings here to quickly set up the keyboard this driver doesn't need to run in your PC startup every time to make your keyboard work properly but you just have to set things up one time and all your RGB button settings and all those macros will be installed in your keyboard so just in case you wanted to use your keyboard into a different PC all your settings will still be there for me I just changed the insert button to print screen since this keyboard doesn't have that button though I have to use a different keyboard to set that up then save it and the settings is already applied anyway you can always reset the settings if you want to by clicking this reset button on its software now let's talk about my thoughts about the build i'm coming from blue switches and this jwick red linear switches are the best for now in my opinion i love how soft and the sound of the keyboard is just simply satisfying for me my only issue with the switches are the uneven pins that doesn't fit correctly in the PCB I'm not sure which one to blame the switch or the PCB I'm not a fan of the stabilizers as well especially on the numpad side since it feels a bit off and I just don't know how to explain that but you could just listen to this if you got any suggestion how to fix that please let me know in the comment section below I love the RGB implementation and the colors are evenly distributed though most of the time I'll just set it up in a single color depending on my mood. Layout seems to be fine and easily recognizable even though if you are not looking into the keyboard itself and if ever there are some key function you want to change that it's also possible. Software driver looks dumb and I think it needs a lot of improvement not to mention looking for it takes a lot of effort. Function key shortcuts are also unknown and there are no manuals, support or at least a website to check it out. The build process takes a lot of time but I had a lot of fun building it. It's more like building a PC but much easier and less stress in my opinion. Overall, I love how the keyboard turns out. Like I said, I chose this keyboard because I needed a numpad, I love the layout and I love the separation of the keys. I was actually choosing between RK100, Keychron K4 V2 or a custom keyboard like this. Though RK and Keychron has a better driver and support, I just can't exchange this keyboard layout for it. Anyway, if you guys wanted to build the same custom keyboard like this, you can just check out the links in the description below for all of the parts that I use in this video. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.